Muy buenos días. Bueno, en primer lugar, qué gran placer volver a encontrarnos aquí. Después de estos dos años tan duros de pandemia, y aunque algunos todavía tengamos que llevar la mascarilla, la verdad es que es un gusto ver esta sala llena, ver el ambiente que hay en la nave, ver la energía positiva que, como todos los años, María Benjumea ha conseguido reunir. Y como no es mi madre, pues voy a pedir un aplauso para ella. Porque yo creo que todos tenemos muy claro que sin tu fuerza, sin tu perseverancia, sin tu cabezonería, esto no sería real. Eh, y cuando hablamos de hace diez años sin un duro esa visión, eh, pues hablamos de, de tu determinación que verdaderamente a todos, yo creo, nos sirve de, de inspiración. Muchas gracias, María. Y antes de entrar en materia, quiero también dar gracias a esta extraordinaria orquesta, porque realmente empezar el día con este ritmo nos llena a todos de, de buen rollo. Muchas gracias. Well, I was just saying what a pleasure it is to participate once more in this uh, South Summit uh, inauguration. I was thinking, I've been here for four years. The past two years have been very tough for everybody, but we have managed to continue with this outstanding gathering of the startup ecosystem in Spain, together with international investors. Maria was just telling me there are more investors than ever, and therefore I think that these two, 10 years have been like a, a, a startup, <laughs> and now we're getting to the scale-up fashion, uh, fashion and, and phase of this uh, outstanding event. It's a real pleasure to be here. And it is also a pleasure to participate in an event which I think has a perfect title. Uh, decoding complexity is probably what we all need these days. We live in very complex times, full of uncertainty. Change is the only thing that is actually unmovable and permanent in our realities, in our lives. And I think that when one is facing these complex scenarios, we need references, we need roadmaps, we need uh, guiding principles to look for the future. And fortunately, in the case of Europe, and particularly in the case of Spain, we have a very clear roadmap, which is the Spanish recovery plan. And my dear Commissioner Maria Gabriel was talking about it just a moment ago, no? how we have seen very clearly that as the pandemic showed us the need to accelerate the digitalization process, now Russia's war against Ukraine is showing us the need to accelerate the green transition. And fortunately, the European Next Generation EU funds and the Spanish recovery plan are devoting 40% of investments to the green transition, 30% of investments to digitalization. And this, together with social and territorial cohesion and gender equality, are the four guiding principles of all our actions for the past years, and this is our roadmap for the future. The Spanish recovery plan is probably the most ambitious one from the quantitative point of view, also due to the front-loading of the investments and reforms, And we are on track. Actually, we expect 2022 to be the cruising speed year in terms of investments and reforms, many of which are very well known here in South Summit because I have been announcing and explaining the key reforms that we are undertaking. Maria has already mentioned, obviously, the startup law. It is, it is a groundbreaking, it is a, uh, it's going to place Spain at the forefront in terms of promoting and attracting investment and talent to our country. With very important instruments such as startup visas, it has been mentioned, also tax benefits, in particular a very favorable treatment of stock options. These are the elements that have been told to us by the ecosystem as the key principles, the key changes that we needed to introduce with a view to making Spain uh, the vanguard in terms of startups. And we are going to uh, start the negotiations in earnest. I mean, the Secretary of State is here, and <laughs> I am pressing her every week, you know, to, to uh, try to accelerate the process. 
but we will start the negotiations in earnest with the Parliament in September, and I hope we will get the law adopted as soon as possible in the course of this year, so that it will become a reality, that Spain will be one of the most attractive countries for startups to be established here and to attract investment and talent. There are other important reforms ongoing, having to do with bankruptcy law, the labor market reform, vocational training, but these reforms are going to be together with a massive investment effort. The Spanish digital agenda that we have been implementing has very important groundbreaking investment programs. Three billion are being devoted to the digitalization of SMEs. We have a specific program to support startups led by women. We are uh, going ahead with the strategic large scale projects the electric uh, and connected vehicle is maybe the most, uh, the most, uh, the best known of all these strategic projects. Actually, we have just closed the key call for projects. 13 projects have been uh, put forward by the largest car manufacturers in Europe and the world. 12 billion of private investment is going to be mobilized by this strategic project. Two Geiger factories of batteries will be established in Spain, and this is probably the best symbol that the recovery plan is up and running, is on, its, uh, on the roadmap. Hmm? Uh, but let me just mention two other strategic projects which are led by my ministry and which have to do with the fabrication, the making of chips developing a microelectronics and semiconductor industry in Spain, and the strategic project for the new economy of language, which aims at leveraging the power of the Spanish language, 600 million speakers throughout the world, together with also the other uh, official languages of Spain, in the new artificial intelligence, new digital economy. I will just close, uh, I, could, I could speak for hours about the many investments and projects that we're launching. Let me just mention one that Maria was highlighting also, the Next Tech Fund for the scale up of uh, startups in uh, disruptive technologies. We have already closed two agreements for 170 million euros. And so I am quite convinced that we will be able to reach our target of 4 billion uh, of public and private investment mobilized for the scale up of startups in our country so that Spain is not only a thriving ecosystem for the creation of these companies but also for the scaling up for them to become mature large companies. This is the fourth time I participate in the South Summit uh, event. I think that uh, throughout these four years, you have seen that this is a country and this is a government that puts its money where the mouth is. And so we are uh, really on track with our very ambitious plans to support the startup ecosystem. Cumplimos nuestros compromisos. Estamos desarrollando un programa muy ambicioso de inversiones y reformas para apoyar al ecosistema de startups en nuestro país pero no solo para que se creen en España, sino para que crezcan y se conviertan en grandes empresas innovadoras que puedan servir de tractoras del conjunto de la economía para impulsar la innovación, impulsar toda esta nueva economía digital que se está desarrollando y que da una oportunidad extraordinaria a España. Y espero que este año se logren récords de, de inversión y que el año próximo sigamos viendo cómo se van haciendo realidad esos proyectos, esa visión de futuro que hace cuatro años compartía con todos ustedes en este mismo podio. Me estaba acordando de que justamente en aquel momento celebraba mi 50, aniversario, mi 50 cumpleaños, lo celebré aquí eh, María. Este año lo que estamos celebrando es el décimo aniversario de Startups, y como diría el gran Gardel, 10 años no es nada. ¿eh? Esto no hace nada más que empezar. Así que os deseo todo lo mejor. Creo que eh, este evento, junto con el resto que se organizan en nuestro país, demuestra cómo España es un país favorable al emprendimiento, favorable a la innovación, favorable a la actividad económica. Y esta tiene que ser, sin duda, nuestra guía y nuestro principio rector si queremos seguir celebrando muchos años en South Summit. So, all the best, happy birthday, and looking forward to meeting you and participating here in the coming 10 years.